What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a very cool um, stuff that I found. A uh, plugin for the Unreal Engine. Basically it's free and it's for saving games, um, like autosaves. And that's very cool because the only plugin that I heard about to improve like the save game system that comes with Unreal, which is poor in my opinion. But um, there was a, pl a plugin from Rama, I think it, that its name, but it was a paid plugin and basically does um, what this one does. It, I think not really much people know about it. So I'm going to go into the Epic Games launcher and show you this. Um, I'm already there because I was testing uh, some stuff out. But if you're like in your Unreal Engine, normal stuff, go into the marketplace and then find your free stuff. And just type in save. Uh, there you go. You can see that is owned. For you, it's going to appear free. And it's called save extension. If you can click on that. And then you can just click over here, install to engine. I can't because I already have. It's going to ask you to choose a version. It only works from 4.20 to 4.21. And you can read the documentation if you want to see a little bit um of what it does. The documentation is not very detailed, but I'm going to show you how, how to work with it. Uh, what I have here is basically um, a first-person blueprint template open. I have not changed anything. I've been testing around, but I deleted everything. So first thing, no, I didn't delete everything. I'm stupid. Sorry. I'm going to delete that and do it again for you guys. So go, first of all, how do you activate the plugin? Go into settings, plugins. And then you can search over here by save extension. It should appear this. Uh, this is going to be unchecked. Click on it. And then uh, after you click on it, it's going to ask you restart now over here. Because you need to restart after you, you know, activate a plugin. Uh, click on that. Your engine is going to um, reopen. And then you're going to appear in this page. You can close the plugins if it's still open. Now it's very easy. Go into blueprints, open level blueprint. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to want to basically save the game into using this new system. Now, um, the old save system, which I'm going to show you, uh, it's create. You need to create save objects, and then inside the save game class, you need to have each individual uh, variable that you want to save. So basically, you need to go into this class and create variables like character position, blah 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 blah. But this makes it very easy. Um, this new system. So I'm going to get the save, the save manager, and this is basically everything that is going to uh, drive the new save system, this is uh, the plugin stuff, and I'm going to use an input to save the game. I'm going to do T keyboard, so I'm going to use the T key to save our game. Now from over here, I'm going to drag and just see save game, or save slot, sorry. I'm going to do a save slot to ID. Because this is, um, you know, the best version of this, I think. It's very easy. The slot is basically uh, each, um, uh, not each, but which save you want to override. Uh, if you see over here, the override if needed is basically, if you save once on slot 0, and then you save again, if this is turned on, it's going to replace the old save 0, the old slot 0, and replace with a new save game. But if you don't want that, you can have a system that basically each time you save is going to create new slots. Or you can do like until 3 and then you're going to have uh, old save games that you can go back to if one gets corrupted, etc. But I'm just going to use slot 0 for now. Uh, over here is basically if you want to take a screenshot of the save. If you want to use la that in the menu or something, you have the information over here to the size of the image. I'm not going to mess with that right now. The return value basically tells you if it successfully saved the slot or not. But now how do we load? Same thing. Y keyboard. I'm going to copy and paste the save manager. And then load slot from ID. And basically you're going to load the same that is in the ID that you saved the game. So because we are using the slot 0, I'm going to use the load slot 0 over here. And the return value does the exact same thing. It tells you if it successfully loaded the game or not. So I'm gonna, this is everything that I'm going to do here. You can add like a print string with a return value to see the, um, the thing. But I, I'm not going to do that because it shouldn't be any problems because we don't add a game. We just have this template. Open your first person character blueprint. And go over here into the spawn projectile. Let me go ahead and delete this. I'll create it again. I just unplugged the place on a location so you don't get air raped by the, the sound of 
the thing firing because it's very loud. So go ahead and create a new variable and we're going to call this bullets fire. This is just an example to see how we can save a variable using this new system because it won't automatically save. You need to save, you know, the, the variable. But instead of going inside the class and tell it uh, like creating a new variable and then when we load the game you need to override the variable in this character from the save game class it's very complicated this way you just go over here expand this there's something called save game you activate it and now this variable will be serialized for the save game and it's very easy uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to go well let's fire get add a plus And then I'm going to set the bullets fire. Now I'm just going to want to show it on the screen. So I'm going to pick an event tick. I'm going to do a print string with the bullets fired. Point zero 0.01, so it only shows once per frame and let's see what happens let's play now you can see the counter okay yeah i did something wrong what the fuck oh yeah uh, i need to connect from the spawn actor because i'm not running the sound there you go oh sorry the editor is bugging out so you can see over there in the top corner the counter um so one thing that it saves automatically is the position of the controlled pawn I think it saves every actor blueprint automatically, but you need to save each individual blue, uh, variable inside it. So you can see that I have 17 bullets. I'm going to press T. I'm going to close the editor and play it again. I'm going to fire two bullets, and you can see that if I press Y, you go back to the original position, and you can see at the top end corner that the bullets fired up late. Press T again. Press Y. And you can see it updates. So that's basically what the save game does. This error is because of lightning st uh, stuff, because I don't have it movable. Don't know what that means, but I don't think it has to do with the plugin. Um, I'm not sure if I need to activate something over here. So let me just type save. Uh, what I think it does is that. Um, it basically saves every bloop, every actor in the level. It saves its position, and like um, saves its position and rotation, and scaling, and it automatically saves that. So you don't have to be saving and loading the first person character position. You just have to, you know, serialize for save game uh, each variable. So you just go over here and click save once you create a new variable that you want to be saved. So that's basically the way you use this. Um, I'm not sure, like with AI and stuff, but if I use this plugin, once I do, because I'm not going to do it anytime soon, at least for not the project that I'm working right now, but I just want you to, uh, if, I, if, um, if I work with it and see that it works with AI and stuff, I'll do a video on it to let you know. But um, for now, I think you should go and grab this for yourself and test it out, play around with it, do what I've showed you. It's basically this simple. Just go into your character or whatever. Once you save with the key, and load with another key to the uh, desired slot using the save manager and that's basically it you just go over, the, over here into the variable that you want to save click on save game act uh, activate it for serialization and every actor in the level is going to be automatically saved it's transform so you don't have to save that yourself and set it yourself play around with it i just wanted to make this video to show you guys that this exists because i don't think many people know it and before you go and actually waste money on a save game plugin, you can check this out for free. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope to come with a new video soon. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.